Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're right. I should I shouldn't just be cooped up in here all day. I I'm drinking Dr. Pepper and playing video games all day. I need to get I need to get out there. I need to experience nature. I need to breathe fresh air. I need to go touch some grass. Your point? Wow, this is nice. I wonder why I've never done this before. Oh. Right. Yeah, that's why. Hey, playing games, watching movies, listening to this intro, got you feeling groovy. Sitting with my bro, doing who, what knows. Sit back, relax, and just let it flow. Mama ask your son, what you watching? Well, mama, here it is, it's the Infinito Show. Oh, uh, hey everyone, it's Mark here, welcome to Infinity Show. Today we'll be discussing, um, uh, uh... Handheld consoles. Handhelds have been around for the longest time, starting with the Nintendo Game & Watch, going all the way to today with the things like the Switch and Steam Deck. I mean, it makes sense. Everybody wants to be able to play games on the go, you know? It's not like you can just casually take your Dreamcast everywhere. Fuck! Handouts are a cornerstone of the gaming industry. And no one does handouts better than Nintendo themselves. Hey, everyone, baby, because we fan Mark here. What can I do for you? Hello, Mark. For the past year, you've been making jokes. Uh -huh. Anyways, the Game Boy, the DS, the Switch. Throughout it all, Nintendo has been at the forefront of handled gaming, and has always had some sort of handled system throughout every generation. Starting with the Game Boy. The Game Boy was released on April 21st, 1989 in Japan, July 31st of the same year in North America, and September 28th, 1990 in Europe. The Game Boy is such an innovative thing in the gaming world. This screen sucks! Why is it piss green? There's no backlight! I can't see- I can't see shit in the dark! I can't play it in the dark! Uh, that's out of the way. The Game Boy had so many great games on it. Super Mario Land is basically a normal 2D Mario game, but on the Game Boy. Mario Land is such an enjoyable game. You can beat it in like 30 minutes if you really know what you're doing. But let me tell you, those 30 minutes will be the most fulfilling 30 minutes of your life. A lot of people say that the physics in the game are horrible, but like, who cares? It's Tiny Mario on the go! It's so cool! Look at him jump! Look at Mario jump! Then there's... Hey, number one, Benji, because we have him. Mark here, what can I do for you? As I was saying, for the past year, you have been making joke after joke. Telemarketers, am I right? Anyways, and then there's Zelda Link's Awakening, which is a fun Zelda handheld game that I always make sure to recommend when someone asks me for a good Zelda game. But for the love of God, do not play the original, play DX or the 2019 Switch remake. You have been warned. There's also Tetris.
It's Tetris. The Donkey Kong Land series, which is like a tiny version of the country games. And... What? What? Where's Donkey Kong? Yeah, the problem with the Donkey Kong Land games is that the sprites are just so detailed. Which, mind you, is very impressive. But it makes it very hard to see any of the sprites when you're playing the actual game. On the actual Game Boy. There's so many more fantastic games on the Game Boy, like Kirby's Dream Land 2, Super Mario Land 2, Donkey Kong, a sequel to the arcade game, Warrior Land, Warrior Land 2. But it kind of feels like I'm forgetting something. How could I forget? Dr. Mario may be a Tetris ripoff, but it's a good Tetris ripoff. Although, after a while, it does get boring. And after a while, I mean like three minutes. Oh, right. And there's Pokemon. Pokemon Red and Blue are fantastic games that I still play to this day. Although I do, I, I do play the remakes, Fire Red and Leaf Green instead, but like, same thing. Like, I seriously play Pokemon Fire Red like once every couple months. Pokemon, nowadays being the biggest media franchise in the world, is what kept the Game Boy going strong until March 23rd, 2003, when the Game Boy and Game Boy Color were officially discontinued to make way for the new Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance. Which we are now on to talk talking about. If I didn't make that, I just wanted I just want to make that clear. Oh my god! Hey, no more basic sweet man Mark here. What can I do for you? Joke after joke. You don't understand what you're dealing with here, Mark. Best seller fan eighty nine, London. These telemarkers are getting out of hand, dude. Dude thought he knew my middle name. My middle name is a Best Zelda fan 89. It's Best Zelda fan 99. My parents are big Zelda fans. Frankly, I don't blame them. The Game Boy Advance was what many people call the true successor to the Game Boy. Those people are wrong. The GBA was released March 21st, 2001 in Japan, June 11th, 2001 in North America, and June 22nd, 2001 in Europe. Now, this might not be a successor to the Game, game Boy, but it most definitely is the definitive Game Boy. And it really is. You can play every Game Boy game from the original all the way to the advance on this thing. The GBA had some great games. Frankly, some of the greatest games ever made. Games like The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Metroid Fusion, Golden Sun, Advance Wars... Harvest Moon, Friends of Mineral Town, Warrior Land 4, Castlevania, Harmony of Dissonance, Metroid Zero Mission, Pokemon Emerald, Sonic Advance, Fire Emblem, The Blazing Blade, Kirby Nightmare and Dreamland, WarioWare, really is the definitive Game Boy experience. Some of backlight though, so. Why you gonna do? But that was all fixed with the definitive, definitive Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance SP. This one had a backlight and was a clamshell, just like a future Nintendo handheld. The DS. Which... Which we were talking about now. God damn, I just ruined the segue. The Nintendo DS is the second highest selling console of all time, with 154.2 million units sold. It was released December 2nd of 2004 in Japan, November 21st, 2004 in North America, and March 11th, 2005 in Europe. The DS is one of the most iconic gaming systems of all time. And like I said, it sold a lot. Everyone and their grandma had one. Either that or they just really liked the variant colors. You had the red one, you had the black one, there was the white one, you had the blue one, the pink one. Mario one, the Zelda one, there was the Guitar Hero one, 
the McDonald's one. You see, McDonald's one. That one. That one's. That one's my favorite. That one's my favorite. The DS had so many different colors and variants to choose from. And once you got the DS, it was time to decide what games you were going to play on it. And let me tell you, there were options to choose from. The DS in total had 3,467 games released on it, with 1,791 of those games being released in North America. And yes, a lot of it was serverware, but there were some really good games released for the system, like New Super Mario Bros, Mario Kart DS, Animal Crossing Wild World, Pokemon Black and White, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, Harvest Moon DS, Brain Age, Super Princess Peach, Rhythm Heaven, the Pokemon Ranger series, Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. We don't talk about those. The first line of DS is officially ended in 2013 with the DSi, and, then, and was then replaced with the 3DS. Wait, but I forgot something, didn't I? There was a handout console in between the Game Boy and Game of Color. What was it called? Right, the Virtual Boy! <laughs> so yeah, then there's the Virtual Boy. Anyways. Oh my god! Bro! Hello, normal Baby Gizzy fan Mark here. What the fuck do you want? <laughs> Who is this? You don't know me, but I know you. Listen here, Mr. Winton. I'm going to give you a choice. I'm listening. Good. Choice number one, you stop joking about the virtual boy. Or else what? Or else I'll make your life a living hell. Which choice number two? Choice number two is you continue what you're doing and joking about the virtual boy. But, like I said, there will be consequences. All this. For the virtual boy? The virtual boy is beyond your comprehension! Yeah, no. Go to hell. Have it your way, Mr. Winden. See you soon. <laughs> huh? What? Hello? Well, that was weird. Just like the virtual boy. Get your Looney Tunes bullshit ass out of here, fuck. I tried.
Hey boss. You're the new guy? Yeah, I'm the new guy. I'm John's replacement. Name's Donnie. Good timing. Our friend doesn't want to play the easy way. So it looks like we're gonna have to break it down. What are you, what are you gonna do then? Well, we tried plan A. That didn't seem to work. Should've figured. The guy's too stubborn. So on to plan B? Yup. Send out the invites. On it, boss. <laughs> this is gonna be a hell of a 